Morning. Sounds good. we're back it's saturday morning day two of the whole dyno fiasco and i'm gonna go ahead and put fresh plugs in the car my i run these ag ngk um laser platinums and this is the part number uh, that toyota recommends and since my car is pretty close to stock i run the stock plug but no matter what spark plug brand or plug it's you go with whether it's pre-gapped or not, you always want to check the gap, set the gap, because even though they try to protect them with like this cardboard sleeve here, the box flexes, there will be pressure, it'll change the gap on the plug. So get yourself one of these, these tools. <clears throat> you can get these pretty much anywhere. I got mine at AutoZone, um, but it'll have inches on one side and millimeters on the back. You can do a conversion either way, um, but since it does have the millimeters on the back, we'll just go ahead and use that side. And basically, this little uh, flat part here slowly gets thicker. See, see that? And then the, the number correlates. So you basically start, start here and slide it up until it's tight and it won't move anymore and that's what the gap is and so on this we're looking at actually less than one we're supposed to have 1.1 on this particular um, spark plug and application so i want to open that up quite a bit i'm at about 0 0.85 i want to be at 1.1 so that's what this little hole here is for that hole will let you slip it over and get leverage. And then you can just gently lift it up as I just did there. And then you can recheck it. And let's see. And I'm about 0.9. Ooh, all right. So if you look, I am right there. That's one, that's 1 1.2. So the line right there in the middle would be 1.1. 1 .1, and I am like right there. It's a better shot. So this one's done. I'm going to just kind of out of habit, I put this back on and put it down, back in, down in the box, but I put them in upside down and gently, Ooh, almost dropped it, that would have been bad, um, and set them aside, and then I'll take them out to the car, we'll put them in. So let me do the next two, and then we'll take them out to the car.
Hmm. I went too far there. So this is a great opportunity I can show you. Basically, you just want to tap it on a softer surface. Um, usually, it's good if you have like a cardboard or a mat or something. I used this on the first one. Um, it's just because it was right within reach and it seems silly, but basically just give it a couple taps. Like good quality taps, like hit the thing, um, but it'll help close the gap. So now we're back down to a little over 1.2. So we still got to close it a little bit. Let's see, we're a little bit below, still higher than what we want to be. Yeah, still a little bit too far. There we go. One thing I do want to say is good on NGK because uh, all of the spark plugs measured uh, right about uh, 0.85 millimeters, so very consistent on their end. Um, wasn't the correct gap for my application, but all I had to do is set the gap. Went a little over on one, but showed you guys how to fix that. So I just wanted to mention that really quick, good on them. Um, very consistent, sometimes they'll kind of range a little bit more than that. Okay, I like to do these one at a time. That way, for sure, nothing gets dropped down into a cylinder because you don't have a bunch of loose hardware laying around everywhere. Um, so we'll just do it one through four, one at a time. And we are going from this to to this. And even though these are used, I'm going to put the old ones in the uh, packaging. And I'm going to mark this box used. I'm going to keep these as a spare set until I get some other ones. Just in case I have an issue. You never know. At least I know these work. And I will probably regap these later. Just to make sure that they're gaps and it's ready to go because we know they work. And if I'm ever in a pickle where I have one fail or something... It's rare, it's very rare, but hey, I'm ready.
通ってるsee make sure everything is good and then I'll uh, unplug the injectors one by one just make sure we're running on all four cylinders and as long as we are we're good to go for the tuner today It'll be a little bit better. It's supposed to go to the tuner today, but I'm just doing some basic stuff, plugs and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's not it turbo, right? No, it's it's a non-turbo, naturally aspirated. Um, doesn't put on a whole lot of horsepower, but it's it only weighs two thousand pounds. So. Oh shit, that's fun to drive. Yeah, it's like it's like a little go kart for adults. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good one. So I also went ahead and polished up the tip there. So if we take our uh, prop here. Yeah. Much better than you know, that. Versus that. <laughs> All right, so uh, the tuner apparently double booked. He was having internet problems, I guess, so. He double booked, so even though I was supposed to be here at 2, we scheduled, rescheduled last night for 12. So right when I got here, I noticed that I had a text from him asking to reschedule back to 2. So I got some extra time to kill. I'm right across the street. So when you're right across the street from Portillo's, you get Portillo's. Get me a Polish dog, and then uh, we're just going to chill on the race car here. I'm illegally parked, but there's a lot of extra spaces, so I don't think they're going to yell at me while I eat. And if they do, I'll just move. But yeah. And then when I get done eating, we'll go unload the car. Have plenty of time to unload the car, put the exhaust on, get it ready, get it warmed up, and get the tune knocked out.
So that was an adventure. Thanks to that dude. Um, also, I think he left his glasses. So I'm gonna have to make a Craigslist post and try to get him his glasses back, because that sucks. Um, at least somebody glass somebody's glasses were on my car. That's weird. But uh, got, got the car down, got the uh, exhaust on. He's uh, working on another car right now. I haven't looked to see what it is. It sounds like it's like a turbo bug or something, maybe a drag car. It's on a, the guys came with a really small trailer, so I don't know, maybe a little bug. But uh, yeah, get the car warmed up, get it ready to go. I'll uh, keep you guys updated. Alright, so this is probably already in the video here, but I'm excited. I'm going to show you the actual printed dyno sheet now that I'm all loaded up, ready to go. Got to grab it out of the car anyway so I don't lose it. And uh, let's check it out. Alright, so on the last time I had my car on dyno pack dynos, I made 111 horsepower and I made about 102 foot pounds, I think. I'll pull up my other dyno sheet if I find it but I know it's 111 horsepower. So we got to bump up to 123, it's a 12 horsepower gain. And we gained a couple foot pounds as well. So it's been an awesome experience and uh, yeah. So at least mechanically, the car is ready now for showdown. And I just got to do, I'm going to redo that because that looks ugly compared to the front corner. So I'm gonna redo the vinyl. I gotta do the over fender, which is coming tonight. I gotta finish that video and that over fender video and physically fix the over fender. And then it's just a matter of cleaning the car, making it look nice and getting it ready. So take it easy guys, peace. All right, so got it back home. I'm actually going to be going around the corner to unload it because there's a speed bump down there, like a big, nice, gentle speed bump. And it's pretty tall, which will help with dimensions of the trailer and everything and get it off without ruining the exhaust. That way I don't have to really work on it tonight and I can take it off for a rip. So I'm gonna do that. I might uh, have the assistance of my mom with that and we're just gonna quickly unload it real quick and 
get back to it. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see, the car is definitely back in the garage where it belongs. It was an eventful day and uh, I did make a lot of mistakes during this whole endeavor. Um, and I'm going to show you guys because I'm not perfect and I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend to be. I'm not going to edit bad stuff out. I'm going to show you all the mistakes I made and there was a bunch this time. So enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> 